But let's take a look at the Central Division. The Reds pulling up the rear here, taking on the Chicago Cubs. This line is a minus 126 at the FanDuel Sportsbook currently as a favorite to the Reds today. 77 degrees at first pitch and a wind blowing out tonight. Are we looking at runs? Are we looking at a side here? And a side, will he continue to be a solid pitcher here for the Cubs? Yeah, Saad's been great. Uh, Hunter Green generally pretty consistent. Reds playing much better, 7-3 and three in their last 10. Cubs not playing as mm. well. I'll probably lean toward the Reds today. Remember, it, at the end of the season, if the projections are even close to where they had Cincinnati, they're going to be a much better team in the second half than they were in the first. Now, again, there's no guarantee of that. But I, I did not anticipate the Reds losing 90 to 100 games, guys. So I, I do think yeah. that... In a one-game scenario, you certainly never know. For me, with baseball, as I've talked about here on the show, once you get to more than a you know one and a quarter or one thirty, I'm usually somebody that looks somewhere else. But I, I do think the Reds probably win today. The Cubbies in a short two-game set mm-hmm. against their inner-city foes in the Chicago White Sox were tested by Chicago, despite the Sox now dropping 13 games in a row. Yesterday mm-hmm. at Wrigley, Mike Talkman walk-off solo shot in the home half of the ninth for Chicago. The Cubs back to an even 500 at 31 and 31. Walk-off yesterday up in the six as well. Isaiah Kiner-Falefa, the walk-off RBI winner Mm. for Toronto as the Blue Jays get their first victory of the series against the Orioles. Fourth and final game of the set. Some day baseball up in Toronto. Craig with the Blue Jays, a minus 118 home money line favorite. Will Will we see a series split here in the Battle of the Birds or will the O's be the series winner? Yeah, tough to call here. As you see, the line is really close. Probably lean a little toward the over here of eight and a half. I, I know, generally speaking, in a day game or a situation like this, players are swinging early and often, uh, and, and some players sitting. But I don't think that the, the Blue Jays can take a day off at all. And I know that the Orioles seem to be playing really hard for their manager, Brandon Hyde. So I expect some runs to be scored today. Maybe it's something you play live yeah. midway through the game and see where it's going. But uh, bullpen's being used a lot last three days. I like the over here. The Jays, three games below 500. They need to start winning games, as Craig was alluding to. Total, eight and a half. You guys will like this. Kate Povich makes his major league debut for Baltimore. The lanky lefty, a guy I covered in high Worry? school at Bellevue wow. West High School in Bellevue, Nebraska. Huh? Mm. Mm. Little Very little impressive. Is, is, huh? is it? it? What'd you say? You know, more I, I, I would main, I would maintain Bad Boys Five could bet. Oh, could that's be the best. I like if they do that route. Let's get what back to Martin Lawrence. That was a movie, Craig. Craig. You're like a Martin Lawrence movie. What happened to the game? Midnight on movie. Take it to Midnight movie, Donnie. Midnight <laughs> movie. <laughs> More around the Major League Baseball slate on this Thursday. A rainout yesterday in Cleveland, as Donnie shared, could be potentially in the cards with some bad weather expected. So a postponement. We play again between the Guardians and the Royals, Brighton, early on this Thursday. 1.11 p.m. Eastern time, scheduled first pitch in the land where the Guardians are a favorite at home, minus 154. Brady Singer set to get the start for the Royals. He was scratched from his last start, now a day after when he was expecting to get back on the bump. What plays out today in Cleveland? Yeah, extra time for a pitcher, like an extra day, usually a good thing here. It gets some more little gas in the tank. But if we take a look at Tanner Bybee, the starter here for the Cleveland Guardians, some pretty good splits, particularly, Ben, over the past 30 days. 114 batters he's faced. Get this, a 113 ISO and a 248 weighted on base percentage. Weather conditions in Cleveland today, 73 degrees, but a crosswind going from left foul pole to right foul pole at about 11, 12 miles an hour. Shouldn't really have too big of an impact on this game. But really, the focus, you know, sometimes you take a look at Singer, we expected to be starting yesterday. Yesterday, game got postponed. We'll start tonight. So the same thing will apply. Last 30 days, he has struggled with left-handed batters. A 244 ISO and a 428 weighted on base percentage. And you look right in the middle of that lineup. So the same thing for me today. Not in love with the side per se, but Jose Ramirez and Josh Naylor, two batters here that will be batting from the left-hand side with elevated numbers against right-handed pitchers over the past month. That's where I'd be looking to go today for Cleveland. Cleveland, good ball club. Probably going to win the game, but I think Ramirez and Naylor are going to be the backbone for them winning the game tonight. Maybe an RBI shot apiece. Bo or Josh Naylor, just so we clarify. Oh, did I say Bo by accident? Josh Naylor, I meant. No, no, I know. I just want to make sure because sometimes you see it flash on the box. Throw it in there. We get a Naylor RBI, but we need to make sure we have the correct brother. Should throw it in. Like get both of them. Yeah. That's not a bad bet. A Naylor RBI. 
All right. Yep. We'll keep that Nailed in mind. It. We'll talk to our folks at FanDuel. Oh, bang. The Guardians, by the way, the only other team alongside the Yankees and the Phils to reach that 40 win threshold. 40 and 20, the record for Cleveland atop the American League Central right now by five games over these Royals. But again, the American League Central, the only division in baseball that has four teams at 500 or better. Not what we expected, perhaps, for this division before the year got underway, but should be competitive the rest of the summer. Cleveland, an odds-on yep. favorite at minus 135 to win this division. Twins, the second-best price at plus 230. KC in second place, but third-best number at plus 430. Speaking of Minnesota, they have dropped two straight to start this week up in the Bronx against the Yanks. In fact, Minnesota has lost five in a row against the Yankees this year. New York overall on a seven-game win streak. They hope to continue tonight up in the Bronx. Minus 146 in favor of the pinstripes over under eight and a half. Will the Yankees sweep the Twins for a second straight time this season? They probably will because they're a better baseball team. And overall, look at that price point here. Not the side itself, but that eight and a half total. I think we get runs tonight. 78 degrees, that first pitch, wind blowing out about five, six miles an hour to left center field. So won't be a too big of a hindrance tonight where you're saying like, hey, I would really like 15 mile an hour winds and to get more runs here. We should be just fine. Here's the reason being. Pablo Lopez on the season has been a good pitcher, but over the past 30 days, he's not pitching like what we saw most of last year. How about this, Ben? A 207 ISO and a 351 weighted on base percentage. If you break it down, he's getting pummeled by left-handed batters. A 234 ISO and a 363 weighted on base percentage. So Verdugo and Soto pop up right away in the middle of that lineup. Anthony Rizzo is a left-handed batter, but he's really struggled against right-handed pitching over the past month. But also, you take a look at those judge numbers. You take a look at those Stanton numbers. The only reason why I'm not bringing them up because I do think the left-handed batter should be the highlight of the lineup. But if you tell me right now you want to go judge Stanton for multiple RBIs tonight, I'm not going to fight yeah. with you. Now let's flip it over to Marcus Stroman, who's been filthy as a right-handed pitcher against right-handed batters for both the season and the past 30 days. However, his season numbers to left-handed batters for both the uh, ISO power numbers at 250 and weighted on base percentage at 381, transfer that over the last 30 days, 246 ISO, 357 weighted on base percentage. He's struggling. The one thing that the Twins can do, Ben, they can throw a lot of left-handed batters out, and they will do that tonight. So instead of taking a look at a side, which again, I think the Yankees win, I think we have some runs tonight coming in the Bronx. I would like them to get nine or more runs here. Eight, the total by the Bay in Oakland. Quickly here, DRS, the Mariners open mm -hmm. up this series as a favorite on the road, minus 142 against the A's. Who wins today out in Oakland? Yeah, Seattle should be able to handle their business. Crawford, Moore, Rodriguez, and France, high numbers against left-handed pitching. And you take a look here at J.P. Sears, left-handed pitcher struggling over the past month against right-handed batters. But if we flip it over and say who's on the mound here for Seattle, it's Brian Wu. Been filthy over his last 98 batters in 043 ISO, 129 weighted on base percentage in a pitcher's ballpark. He should deal against the athletics today. The series finale, by the way, not the opener. My mistake. More on the early line next.